it's raining. And we're still planning on going out. We've got one umbrella. Uh, Brian bought a raincoat, so he'll wear that. And I've got a scotch guarded windbreaker. But I do have a rain hat. And we'll see how it goes. I think the goal is to to walk the two miles all around York and then explore the, the pedestrian area around the shambles. ways to the wall and that ways to the, the bar and the Richard the Third Museum. Okay. This part is for Logan. We're still on the, the city wall. Now remember originally the rail would not have been there. But as you can see, they built their houses so very close to the wall that it would, in fact, be quite easy to clamber onto roofs and do that roof hopping like they did in the video games you guys play. Fascinating, isn't it? From the walls, I imagine there would be virtually no privacy even the backyards or gardens of the affluent would be accessible from these walls. Perhaps that's why they plant lots of things with thorns like roses all around. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. table structures, integrated benches and one door in the corner, the metal roof. Mm. We're at the Yorkshire Museum. Right outside the front, and while the rain has stopped, we're going to explore the gardens. There's the front of the museum. This is a lovely fern garden. The placard here says that um, in medieval times, ferns were associated with mysticism fear and superstition. It was believed that ferns could help you become invisible. Which is in fact true. Um, cause look! Look! There he is! And now he's invisible. 
You know, it's, it's a lovely garden. What I, I think I like most about it is they're using old discarded pieces of wall, I guess. Uh, I think it's more part, part of a monastery or... A monastery or something? Some kind of a building. Right. It's a very elaborate carving. I know, I know. Some of these, these stones that they're using are very elaborately carved. Can you imagine the, uh, having left? Could be old pieces from the minster that they've restored. Yeah. All right. I wish I had leftovers like that lying around my garden. <laughs> and Brian says that the borders of the garden that I so admired probably came from this structure. Haven't learned what it is yet. Well, we've been into the museum and it was wonderful. Um, it was kind of small. Which way do we want to go? Which way? Um, I especially like the exhibits that uh, have their films of, of actors who are telling their stories. I love that. But we're back out in the gardens now. Mm, I smell dill. Ran across uh, probably five or six teenagers about Logan's age and they were practicing a scene from Shakespeare. They were in a little woodland area. Yeah, and they had their little dagger props and other things. And, it, and I think it was from The Tempest. So, Logan, that's for you. I wanted to meet Judy Dench. This will be as close as we get, I suppose. All right, we had to come back. We're at um, the Shambles, otherwise known as Diagon Alley. to a tour of a chocolate factory, which actually turned out not to be a factory at all. What you want to do with that is to press that cocoa butter out of the substance. And they stick you in this little stainless steel elevator with blue lights all around it. The music. So you hold that down. That'll separate the cocoa butter out, and you end up with the cocoa solids up here. So if you make a uh, you use a uh, cocoa powder, that comes. It was more just the history of chocolate in your. It was bizarre. I think I've tasted more chocolate today than I have all year. <laughs> I tell you that was good. Woohoo! Let's go walk off some of that chocolate. have more wall ahead of us. Mm. That's true. And it's actually getting sunny. All right. That was incredibly Willy Wonka, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> we'll have to talk about it tonight, okay? Because that was 
that was just freaky, but very cool, but very freaky. You're, you're interrupting their bath, Brian. Okay, he was bathing. We've been walking the wall. Our goal is to still get all the way around. It's been thundering and raining, though. We have to get off the wall for a little bit and get down. We're going to cross the, one of the little rivers. The geese like this weather. wall to finish. All right. Then we could um, go see if we could find the bluebell. Okay. Or we could just pop into this modern place. No, I don't want a modern place. I live in a modern place. <laughs> All right. We found the last of the wall. <laughs> oh, the smells here are incredible. I don't know what that was. Whew. It's called the bluebell. We've been searching all over and it's itty bitty tiny. It was a very historically significant that still had a lot of the details of its Victorian or Edwardian origins, a lot of the etched glass, window sashes between the different bars, it had a, had a public front bar, a hall with a window through that could serve people in the hall. And the then then right. <laughs> this a hall bar. A little hall bar, oh that's yeah, excellent. Yeah. Oh. And then a back smoking room behind the bar. Jersey, Yeah. I spent 70 years getting this back. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You enjoy your visit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But the book that I've got on Yorkshire Heritage Pubs, um, refers to it as being a national treasure. Yeah. <laughs> had um, an Italian dinner. Yeah. I served by a Spanish girl. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the rest of the bottle back. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. We think we can hear bagpipes. Oh, my God.